exhortation for today. Learn to listen to and speak for God. Matuto po tayong makinig sa Diyos at magsalita para sa Kanya. 1 Samuel chapter 3 verses 1 to 3. Again, 1 Samuel chapter 3 verses 1 to 3. All leaders need to learn to recognize the voice of God, even as young Samuel did. While he lay on the floor one night near the ark of God, the Lord called out to him, Samuel, Samuel. At first Samuel heard but didn't recognize the father's voice. Samuel teaches us that we hear from God. And in these verses, we will learn three important things how to learn, to listen, and speak for God. Naniniwala po ako na ang pakikinig sa tinig ng Diyos ay mahalaga. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 says, Man shall not live alone, alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Again, I repeat, Man shall not live by the bread alone. Hindi po ang tao ay mabubuhay sa tinapay lamang, kundi sa bawat salitang na mumutawi sa bibig ng Diyos. Meron tatlong mahalanggang bagay po tayong mapapansin. Three important things to remember. Number one, in verse one, start with the letter A. Appreciate God's voice by proper practice. During that day, there was no widespread revelation. Wala pa pong kapahayagan ng mga panahong yun. Subalit kahit bata pa sa pananampalataya, si Samuel, natutunan na niyang makinig sa Diyos. But look what Daniel, or I mean Samuel, did. Now, the boy Samuel minister to, learn to the Lord before Eli. We need to experience proper practice. Samuel was already obeying all he knew. Lahat po, pinapakinggan na ni, ni Samuel during that time. Katulad mo ng sinabi ko kanina sa Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, ang tao ay hindi nabubuhay sa tinapay lamang, kundi sa bawat salitang namumutawi sa bibig ng Panginoon. Maliwanag po na kinakailan nating matutong makinig sa Diyos. Palangalang bagay po, nasa verse 2, start with the letter C. Create an opportunity for God's voice to be in a proper position. And it came to pass at that time, sabi po ng Bible, and it came to pass at that time. At that time, Eli, whose eyesight, eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see while lying on in his own place. 
sa palong yung po ay nabubulag na si Eli at kinakailangan yung ilawan sa Ark of God ay hindi ho yan po pwedeng mamatay. The Word of God is the light unto our path and a lamp unto our feet. Ilaw po ang salita ng Diyos. I believe in Ecclesiastes 3 verse 11 which says, In His time, He makes all things beautiful and He puts eternity in the hearts of of men. It was in the proper position. Samuel lay quiet and still and still and remove all distractors. Yes, we need to focus on God alone. Alisin po natin ang mga nakadlang sa ating pananampalataya. Jesus need to be alone with His Father regularly. Gano naman po kabisi, bigyan mo ng panahon ang tinig ng Diyos. At pangatlong malagang bagay po na makikita natin sa 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 3. Start with the letter T. Trust God's voice in the proper proximity. In verse 3, And before the Lamb of God, the Lamb of God went out in the tabernacle of the Lord where the ark of God was. And while Samuel was lying down, Verse 4, that the Lord called Samuel. What is the position of Samuel? He was lying down. That the Lord called Samuel. And he answered, Here I am, Lord. We need proper timing, proper place, proper direction. Some will live in the presence of God. When you hear the voice of God, act now. That is our keyword, act. I repeat, letter A, appreciate God's voice by proper practice. Letter C, verse 1 po yun. Verse 2, create an opportunity for God's voice to be in a proper position. We cannot hear God's voice when, uh, when we are so busy. Ang daming tinig na ating maririnig. Hindi natin maririnig ang tinig ng Diyos. Because the voice of God is still a small voice. And letter T, trust God's voice in the proper proximity. Again, I repeat, when you hear the voice of God, act now. So Samuel laid out the whole truth. And because of his obedience, God raised the young man up as a leader and prophet among his people. In chapter 3, verse 20, it says, and all Israel from Dan to Beersheba knew that Samuel was established, established as a prophet of the Lord. And the Lord appeared again in Shiloh, for the Lord revealed himself to Samuel at Siloah by the word of the Lord. I believe Samuel is a great biblical example of godly leadership. He demonstrates that the man or woman who is fit to lead God's people is the one who has learned 
to hear his voice, heed his words, and speak his truth, no matter the earthly consequences. Challenge. God has never chosen his leaders on their charisma or eloquence of speech. Rather, he looks for those with the courage to hear and speak exactly what he tells them. Tinawag po tayo para palaganapin ang tinig ng Diyos. In season or out of season, we need to preach the word of God. To God be the glory.